different life I'm so glad that you're by my side We gonna always ride or die we Reach every goal cause we always aim high You don't know what you mean to me Even though we might not always agree There's no place I'd rather be The Moran family, yeah Moran, say the name Moran, oh we're ten Moran, Moran No place I'd rather be Hey guys, welcome back to Moran Family TV. Okay, if I can be honest with you guys, I really don't like this whole intro part of YouTube and introducing you to my channel. I don't know why. I feel like I sound robotic every single time I say it. Does anyone else feel like that? Because I am struggling. My husband was back here trying to help me out with my intro. What did you tell me to say? <laughs> Yours truly, Natalie. Welcome you wanted back. Me to say, welcome back. It's yours truly, Natalie. <laughs> but I still felt like that wasn't me. So I am trying to change this whole intro thing. But hey, so let's try that again. If you're new to my channel, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back and give us a thumbs up and you know all that other good stuff that we YouTubers tell you to do. Do it. I would love for you to do it to my channel. Okay, so before this whole coronavirus situation happened, I was going to do like a decor with me, kind of decorate with me for spring and all of that. But if I'm being honest, I'm really not in the springy mood anymore. Like the coronavirus took all of that away. But I did go to Home Goods a few weeks ago and I did purchase some stuff. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I purchased. And I do plan on doing a few decorating videos um, coming up in the next few weeks or so. But I did want to kind of show you guys what I purchased because I am going to start putting them around the house soon. So I figured why not do a video even though you guys can't really go to Home Goods and kind of do like a little spring refreshish in the house for the upcoming weeks or whatnot. Up first, um, remember I'm doing this like refresh for like every bedroom like I kind of been thinking about like what I want to do to the space um, I'm not gonna do any like major changes these are just small changes that are gonna make a huge impact to the space small stuff to put around the house kind of give it a little bit more spice and things like that so up first was some towels that I purchased for the kids kind of started using them already because yeah we need towels but yeah, I purchased them these lime green ones so we can kind of tell the difference between their towels and my towels. But they were $24.99 and I think they came in a pack of four, was it? Yeah, I think it was a pack of four. So we took one out already um, to use. But they're super cute. I'm going to put it in their um, towel little pantry closet, which I plan on doing a little haul so you guys can see like a clean with me with that because it's a hot mess in there. So I did get them some new towels. All right, so along with the kids' towels, I did get us some towels too, which as you can see, have already been opened also. But these are kind of like the hand towels that you would put in the bathroom. Um, it came with, I think it was six of them. So these are the hand towels and these are the washcloths. So it came with two hand towels, two bath towels, and two hand um, washcloths. And they were not that expensive. For six towels, they were $19.99. So I grabbed those for me and the husband. So along with the towels for our bedroom, I did purchase a new rug for our bathroom. This is an organic bath rug. Yes, organic bath rug. I didn't even know that thing was organic when I bought it. So I'm not that bougie to buy <laughs> organic bath rugs. <laughs> but it is an organic bath rug. It is 27 inches by 45 inches. So it's pretty big and I'm going to use this in our master bathroom because we need a new rug in there. The one that we had was white and it ain't white no more though. <laughs> it ain't white no more. So I bought a gray one this time instead to put in there. Does anyone else like to decorate with white like I do? Like if I could have it, I would have like an all white kitchen, all white bathroom, all white bedroom, all white living room, like just, I don't know, all white. Like some of this stuff we're gonna be surprised with together because I don't remember everything that I purchased because I planned on doing like a kitchen haul, a bathroom haul, a dining room haul, 
along with like the kids pantry and our kitchen pantry stuff so it's like a mixture of all of those things in here next up is some pillows so i really love like i just told you guys earlier whites and stuff like that but i am going to change the type of pillows that i'm using in the living room because the kids are home more and they're starting to look a little dingy so i'm moving more towards like the light grays and silvers and things like that for the living room and I'm getting rid of like all of my white pillows for now. So to start off with like buying some pillows, I did find these and I thought they were super cute. They are some rodeohome.com pillows. It was two of them in the set. They have like this nice little snakeskin type texture on them and they are two decorative pillows for $24.99. So I'm gonna get rid of like two of my white ones and replace it with these two pillows for now to see if I like it. And then maybe purchase like some other like texture type ones and maybe like a black one. We'll see about the black. I'm not too, too fond of it in like the core because it's gonna make the living room look dark and small and I like to look bright and airy. So we'll see how that goes, but I did purchase these two and I am excited to put them out soon. All right, next up, let's see what we get out of the bag. I don't know what you call these things. What are they called? For someone who designed home, I just like pretty stuff. I don't know names to everything. I just know what I like, but I bought this. It's like one of those like cake stand things. But I'm not going to use it for a cake stand. I'm most likely going to use them separately. I don't know, I don't ever use things together how they come. I always like break them apart. So yeah, so most likely I'll probably use this in the kitchen for something and this will most likely be like in our dining room for something. So we'll see, but I purchased this at um, Home Goods for $12.99. So going with the kitchen stuff, I purchased some cutting boards. And no, I'm not going to use it to cut. We're using our cutting boards for decor. Duh. Who else uses cutting boards for decor and not to actually cut? I do plan on buying an actual cutting board to cut with. I have one, but it's pretty old, so I'm going to change it out. But this is actually for decor that I'm going to use in the kitchen when I do my kitchen um, essentials video for you guys and I got this one too to go along with it I love it I love the color of it the texture the size is perfect I plan on using them together when I put them together in the kitchen I can't wait to show you guys what they will look like but yeah so this one this little cutting padding board was $9.99 and then I found this one on clearance for $6 Okay, so I have a pilon. <laughs> this is what you call it in my native language, okay? If you're Haitian, you know what I'm talking about. This is a pilon. In English, it's called a mortar and pestle. It's marble. I am like in love with anything marble. Like if it's marble, it's gray and it's white, it's for me, okay? It was $9.99. I don't plan on actually using it for what it is used for. I plan on using it for decor and I may use it for what it's used for when I like make my avocado and stuff like that. I like to put it inside of it. It looks really pretty on pictures. But yeah, I'm gonna use this in the kitchen to put it like alongside like my little books or something like that, my cooking books. So we'll see. But yeah, so this is the pillow. And the next up, I have a napkin holder that we desperately needed. It is this white marble color and it was $12.99. I'm gonna use this in the kitchen. I need one for my bathroom. Do people put napkin holders in the bathroom? Okay, yeah, because I need one for my bathroom too, but they didn't have two, so I only got the one and I'm gonna use this one in my kitchen. So I did purchase this cute little flower to use in the bath, I mean, in the kitchen. I'm gonna use this one in the kitchen. I love greenery in the kitchen, like, just love it. And this, these look so real that I had to get it. I love the white, you guys know my obsession with white. So I had to grab this to put in the kitchen. I don't know where yet, but I will make space for it. I will make it fit. So last up is actually my favorite item that I purchased. And it is this beautiful lamp. 
like it's just so gorgeous and then the shade for it is like this oversized shade i plan on using this in our dining room area and i can't wait to see it come to life it has like this little clear part right here under it with the white textured body for the camera i mean for the camera for the lamp <laughs> And this lamp was $49.99, surprisingly. Like, I don't really like buying lamps because lamps are expensive and I don't really use them. But for $49.99, I felt like this one was, it was a good price. And I fell in love with it and I was like, I have to have it. I wish they had two, but they only had one. So I plan on after this whole coronavirus thing happens, um, when we're not on lockdown, I plan on trying to go to like another home goods to see if I can find the other pair to it. Okay, so that is it. That is all that I purchased before the lockdown. I wanted to go back to home goods to get some more things to kind of finish up this whole refresh of my house that I wanted to do. But the lockdown happened and I wasn't able to go. So this will have to do for now. I do plan on doing like maybe two or three decor with me videos. Let me know down below which one you guys would like to see first. I plan on doing like a kitchen one, a living room refresh and a bathroom refresh like with the kids and my bathroom. So let me know down below which one you would like to see first. Also, let me know what is your favorite item that I purchased from Home Goods. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed showing you guys what I purchased from Home Goods. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you always know when we have a new upload. I will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Have you seen our latest video? If not, it's right under this box, literally. Like just click the box right below here, this box here. Click it and you will see our latest upload. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That's over in that box. <laughs> we'll see you guys in our next